Course by Precept Consultant Megan Hudson, and today we're going to take a look at the fourth edition Math 5 textbook kit. So we're going to look at the student work text and also the teacher edition. We are also going to look at the activities and the assessment packet and the answer keys to those assessments. So join me as we look inside of these books. This is the Math 5 teacher edition book. This is where I'm going to go to find my lesson to present to my child each day. You might notice that this says part one. This is a two part teacher edition. Part one will cover chapters one through nine and part two will cover chapters 10 through 18. At the beginning of this book, you will find a table contents page. Some of the chapters in math five will be covering multiplication, division, fractions, decimals, even a chapter on ratios, proportions, and percents, and an introduction to integers. The beginning of the book has some good information to read through as you are getting ready to teach this course. And there's some information here about instructional materials. These are items that will come with your textbook kit, and I do want to make a note about these online resources. Periodically throughout this book, you will see this link for teachertoolsonline.com. It will tell you to go there for extra resources. As a homeschool parent, you will actually be going to the homeschool hub to find those extra resources. So anytime you see go to the teachertoolsonline.com for extra resources, just remember you are going to the homeschool hub to find those resources. These pages show us the lesson features, so it gives us an idea of how every lesson is laid out in this book. This page gives us information on reviewing in this book and what is new to this edition. And then we begin the lesson plan overviews. Each chapter has a section in the lesson plan overview, and it will take us a little bit more in depth for what we will be studying in each chapter. I like to use these pages to help me plan because it tells me my lesson number, which pages I'm looking at in the teacher edition book, and then which pages I'm assigning in both the work text and the activity pages for my child. I also have a list of the objectives for each lesson. You might notice over here that in chapter eight, I have a STEM page to do. So on all of the even chapters in this book, you will have some form of a STEM activity something that will connect what they're studying in their math lessons to a real world experience. And then this will take me to the beginning of chapter one. I'm actually going to jump ahead now to chapter nine. Each chapter begins with some information about airplanes, airports, flying, pilots, something with aviation. These are going to be real world stories to help get a little hook to connect what they're studying in their book with how it could relate to a real world experience. This sentence right here is our hook in chapter nine. If a plane's angle is off by even a fraction of a degree, the airplane could collide with another plane. This chapter is about adding and subtracting fractions. So here is a real world experience with fractions and why they could be important. Each chapter does begin with a short chapter objective list, a materials list, and extra information about what you will be talking about in this chapter. I also want to point out the Exploring Ideas Worksheet. So we are in Chapter 9, which is an odd number chapter, which means we do not have a STEM activity because those are in the even chapters. Often in the odd chapters, we will have some sort of Exploring Idea Worksheet. I see at the bottom here that this says lesson 88, so I know I need to work this worksheet in after lesson number 88. Now this worksheet is asking us to double a recipe, which is directly related to this chapter about adding and subtracting fractions. So often the exploring ideas pages are going to be an extension of something we are doing directly in that chapter. This is lesson number 87. Up at the top, I see which pages I need to assign my child out of the work text and the activity book. I also have my objective list for the day. I have a practice and review section to use before we get our lesson started. And then I can teach for understanding. 
And this is all of the new information for the day. It actually continues on to the next page as well. Anything in the black font is going to be information that I would be reading to myself to help give me a better idea of how to present this information to my child so that they can understand it to the best of their ability. Anything in blue, I would be saying directly to my child or asking them. And anything in the red font is what they would be telling me as a response to those questions in blue. You also may notice some green font. These are word problems that I would be reading word for word, and then we would be working them out together as part of our lesson. You may also notice that the work text pages and also the activity pages are embedded into my lesson plans. So I have the answer keys directly in front of me. As we're working out those problems, I'm able to check to make sure that we are working them out correctly. At the end of the lesson, I do have information about the work text pages and the activity pages. So if there was anything additional that I needed to go over, I would have those notes there at the end of the lesson and I could do a quick review and make sure that my child understands what they're supposed to do before I let them get started on it. I'm gonna jump ahead now. This is lesson 88, which is subtracting like fractions. I do have a note here at the end that says to direct the attention to the work text page 166. That was that exploring ideas worksheet where I would be doubling the recipe. So these are mixed in as you're going through your lessons as well. Flipping to the back of the book, I do have some teacher resources. These are pages that I can make copies of to use while I am teaching the lesson, and then that way my child could write on it as we're working out examples. And then at the back of the book, I have my index. So if there was a topic we needed to review, I could quickly find that topic and then do a quick review with it. So that is my teacher edition for Math 5. This is the Math 5 work text. This is where my child would go each day to do their assignment. I'm going to flip it open to chapter 9. You might recognize this page as one we saw in the teacher edition. So this is that aviation theme page to introduce our topic, which in this case was adding and subtracting fractions. Right behind that, I have my exploring ideas worksheet. Remember that it lists the lesson number at the bottom corner of the page, and it actually does that on every single lesson. So I always know which lesson these worksheets should be going with. At this point in math, it would probably be beneficial to get a notebook or some other form of separate sheet of paper so that your child can show all of their work as they're working out their problems. Each chapter does end with a chapter review to go over all the main concepts from the chapter. And then we would start the next chapter with another aviation themed page. Remember those STEM activities on the even chapters, those worksheets are also mixed in to this book. And I wanna to go to the very back, this is very neat. This is your handbook. So these are basically little cheat sheets if you don't remember how to do something, there's probably a section in here to give a quick review of how to do it. And that is our Math 5 work text. This is the Math 5 activity book. So this is a great book to use if you need additional practice for the day's lesson. I'm gonna flip ahead to chapter nine where we were. Uh, this is laid out very similar to the way the work text is. It shows you which lesson this page goes with so you will always know if it's corresponding with your lesson for the day. This would be practice on the main portion of the lesson from that day and then typically on the back towards the bottom it will be some sort of cumulative review of something we have done in the past. So each day does have another front and back worksheet of practice available to your child. These chapters also end with a review and also a cumulative review. So this is the activity book for Math 5.
The final items in your fourth edition Math 5 textbook kit is the assessment packet and the answer keys to those assessments. Inside of this assessment packet, you will find one test for the end of each chapter in Math 5, and you would be able to grade those assessments using the answer keys. If you have any questions about any of the materials, please feel free to reach out to your local Homeworks by Precept consultant. We would love to answer your questions. Thanks for joining me today as we looked at the fourth edition Math 5 textbook kit. Oh, <laughs>